What's up guys, it's Eggy here. We're in the garage. Um, you know, we're doing a little cleaning, some moving around. Uh, as you can see, the hood's off El Cuco. We had it running a little bit. I don't know if you can see some of that smoke coming out of the header. You gotta adjust the fuel a little bit. She's still running a little rich, but not that bad because the AFR is plugged in. I think I actually still left it plugged in. Yeah, it's still lit up over there. She probably plugged that, unplug it. But uh, the hood's off because uh, Savi is getting the air box all done. Looks pretty good. I mean, it looks, shoot, it's not even done and it looks really good. So uh, just imagine when it's done, he's just getting it all uh, glued up and then he's gonna put some fiberglass underneath to make it stronger. Cause like when you push on it, it's a little soft still. But uh, my elite employees put in the work. You have been promoted. <laughs> you are now one of my elite employees. But yeah, we're getting ready to put El Cuco in the trailer. So we gotta get her all right. I'm gonna fill it up with water because it says the weather this week should be fairly decent, no freezing temperatures. So we're gonna get some water in her, just, you know, keep her from getting hot. And then, uh, yeah, I got uh, cleaned out the whole car. Um, that box over there is just stuff that uh, it's gotta go with me to where we're going. But yeah, this car hasn't been this clean in who knows how long. I'm gonna still clean the roof. It. Yeah, I know. I still gotta vacuum it. We're still gonna vacuum it too. But uh, yeah, and clean it up a little bit. But I'll probably. Uh, I think those were for. I forget. Oh, those were what? That was what? I switched out the hardware on the fuel pump. That's probably what was holding the fuel pump. So I put black hardware in there. But uh, yeah. So we got that going on. I still got to figure out what's going on here. Because it's like the header's separated, so it's just shooting it onto the firewall. So we're going to have to figure that out. If anything, if we're going to weld it together. Weld, weld that end together and call it a day. Because it, it could flex at the V-band. That'll give it its little flex that it needs. But, anyways, yep. The Kuko's going on a field trip. And we're getting ready for it. Getting him ready for it. But uh Savi cleaned up the windshield too, cleaned up all the all the again. stuff. Yeah. It did get dirty again. But it wasn't as bad as the last time. Got dirty again. Got the hood all cleaned up too. But uh yeah. We're also trying to once the car gets out of here, we'll clean the garage too. I already started moving stuff around so I could do that, but uh at the same time there's so much crap in here. But Little by little, we'll get it cleaned up, but uh, for now, we're just gonna get the hood done. And then uh, we're watching some World Series of Pro Mod. And I'll see you guys when we get back to Sun Entertaining.
So we're back. Um, so we did some wire control over here, some wire management. Got it all nice and tucked before it was all on top of the, the shifter cables. So we got tucked through here. So we put it through here. Two plugs that we're not going to use. Cleaned everything up through here. Came out super nice. This is why you got to have friends that already have race cars because they already dealt with all this stuff. With the CRX, he already got all the wires tucked and everything. All the loose wires and stuff. I like yep. Them. Secured them better. We got to get some He's electrical tape for that, but I'll, I'll worry about that. He did all that, so she's uh she's looking pretty good, or he's looking pretty good. I keep doing that. Oh no! <laughs> but uh, what did he say? What did he say? What did he say? <laughs> but uh, and then uh, yep, I vacuumed the inside. Wasabi was doing that. Cleaned it up. Just kind of gave the car a quick outside detail too. Nothing crazy. I mean, it's gonna get dirty again where it's going. And Sabi also took off all the plastic that was all up in here. We were thinking about painting it and then looking at it, we're like, it doesn't look that bad where you can see the carbon. So you know what? We're gonna leave it like that. But we're gonna have to clean all that stuff out because all that stuff got in there. That's fine. Tires are in the back. We got tires in the back. Lexan. All the materials. All the materials do the windows. So uh, if you're not catching on to where the car is going, I don't know what to tell you. Because I still technically haven't told you where we're going. No, I said it. I just said it. Yeah, but I don't know if they heard. Did you hear him? But, uh... Oh, check this out. Here. Oh, yeah. But also, from the time lapse, Savi got, uh, got all the fiberglass going. It's drying pretty good. It's still a little soft right here. But we're turning it because of... Uh, sunlight. Sunlight, and it's... Uh, it was all soft on the it's side. Not finished though, yeah. yeah, no, not finished at all. And then we got clean the underneath too, because every time you touch it, your hand turns black. But uh yeah, she's looking pretty good, just the way she's sitting right there. I keep saying she, it's a boy. I said what I said. It's a boy. We also put on the uh That's my son. <laughs> That's my son. That's my son. <laughs> we also put on these carbon pieces that I had from before because um the Lexan doesn't reach all the way over here. I mean all the way over here so we have to put the factory piece back on it has add some weight but it is what it is but nice carbon pieces on both sides clean her up because race cars don't need mirrors and then uh yeah i mean she's pretty much uh, i'm just gonna call the car Kuko. i'm not even gonna say she or he i'm just gonna call the car Kuko because i keep saying she but if Kuko is pretty much ready to go and uh, I'm just gonna tell you guys now, it's going to fabrication. It's gonna get the bumper mounted and the window frames done. Uh, it's going to swa. And uh, we're gonna get it all nice and good. He's gonna get all nice and good. He's gonna do the latches, the frames, mount the bumper. I got all the hardware and everything. He just has to put it together for me. So we're getting ready to put the car in there. So we're gonna have to clean up all the driveway and everything. And then uh, I don't know if you guys noticed in the time lapse before this tent put a picture but this tent was completely on top of the car knocked over the motor over there um took out most of the legs yeah knocked over the motor that. yeah knocked over the motor but uh my dad was able to like if you see that piece there's no leg there but my dad was be able to, my neighbors are fighting um but my dad was able to uh salvage most of the legs and most of the stuff except for that one corner so luckily we will should be able to get the car out through there and then, but we're gonna pull the trailer around, but we got a bunch of cars in the driveway and stuff like that. So we're gonna have to clean that up. But besides that, we're moving on pretty nicely. We got up super early this morning. Can't wait for my boss to hear that. On a Sunday? He's gonna be like, I'm just, well, no, cause I already know they're gonna be like, hey, so you got up super early to do that, but uh, you've been coming in at nine during the week. Am I wrong? But uh, no. Yeah, that's true. Honestly, when I texted you in the morning, I didn't expect you to answer like that fast. I was really like, you're, and then you're like, yup. And I was like, damn. I'm like, that, was, that was quick. But uh, yeah, we've been going at this for, it's 12 something now. Shoot, we've been going at this for six hours already. <laughs> we But we did do a lot between the wire management, so I was cleaning up the wires, doing the hood. We clean, I cleaned out the car from the inside. So yeah, we, we got a lot done in those six hours. But uh, I hooked up the AFR just so the car doesn't smoke too much. I think most of that smoke though is coming from all the stuff left over in the header. 
So once it cleans itself out or whatever, we should be good. But uh, we're gonna drive it. We're gonna drive this thing. And not from here to there. We're driving it. We're getting, we're getting some good distance in this thing. Press some clutch. All right, burn it. <laughs> it's a twin disc. I'm gonna put my left leg to work. But uh, yeah, no. We're gonna. Robin? What do you wanna do? But, uh, yeah, uh, for now, that's all the updates I got. So when we got anything more, uh, we'll be back. So we're back. Not even, it's been like two minutes since the last one. Uh, Savi was keep looking. Keep going stuff. Yeah, Savi was looking. And we're going to put, the, we're gonna eventually put the trim pieces on here. But he's, for now, we're just going to paint this black. So it blends in. It looks nice. It looks clean. looks seamless. You know what I mean, it's a race car. But at the end of the day, too, you don't want, you want it to look good. You still want it to look good. So, uh. That's the plan. <laughs> it's funny because most of it, most of it's already painted because I was being stupid and I was trying to not paint it. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> what the hell so, is that? I don't know. But uh, yeah, so we're gonna get those painted on both sides. I'm just gonna pull the other side off for them right now, and uh, we'll be back when it's all painted. Yeah. All right. So we're back. Savi's finished painting that side. He's gonna come over and do this side. But uh, just to show you guys what it looked like before. On this side, all crusty and stuff. Then we walk over to this side. Fluff crusty. Way better. I mean, we're eventually gonna put the trim on anyways, but just for now, it looks way better. Little details. Little details, but you know what? It looks better. Keeps the keeps the nice trim flow going, and then you know, looks good. It looks good. I'm just waiting for my dad to get back because he left, and yeah, he went to Zavi's house. We need his truck to move the trailer, and we also need my stepmom's keys for her car, and then my cousin has her uh, totaled Civic on our driveway, which. For some reason, the door won't unlock, so we gotta figure that out too, because it's blocking the trailer. But anyways, I digress. We'll be right back. Hello there. Is it gonna start? <laughs> Dang. I was about Pan Ams? Street Wars in America. Oh, Street Wars, yep. Yeah. I haven't seen Venom in a while. It's been uh, it's been 10 feet away from me for months. But hasn't physically seen the light. Right out the front. That's a jump. It's the jump pack. No, I'm saying that's a jump pack. I'm looking for the pump. The tire's flat. Oh, the slits. I got my new Milwaukee one, but that's in the truck. And yours is in my truck, too. Last time I went to help Titi. Kind of just turned into a complete crap shoot because uh, uh, we don't have any air pumps because they're both in my truck and Savi yeah, Savi yeah. has wheel lock keys on his car because we're gonna swap we're gonna swap my S uh, the other two SIs I got on there 
because they have air in them, or at least enough, just since we got the CRX in the driveway. So now we're on the side road of my house. My house is over there. And we're trying to, you know, figure out how to get Venom out of here so we can get El Cuco in here. But you know what? It's content. And uh, if it was easy, everybody would do it. But uh, yeah, it is what it is, you know. No, you can do. I think my dad's gonna go see if we got a wheel lock. Okay. I think I've ever done this in front of my dad. It's kind of weird. What? Oh, God. Yeah. He watches them. I know he does, but I've never done them in front of him. But yeah. I think it'll start. I don't know, you think it'll start? I feel, you know, I'm confident in Venom. I think it'll start. I think it'll start. I haven't turned it on since last event. Oh, and there's Savi's diaper pin. Yeah. Yo, you leaking something? C16? Huh? What's that? C16? Q16. Q16? <laughs> Smells good! Wanna get high? Told you it would start. You got a leak or something? A leak? I feel like your transmission is kind of shiny. Oh, crap. Oh, yeah, look at that. Yeah, it's the... Uh, it's the... It's the seal full of this. Mm. All right, so now I'm looking at how Savi got his, so I could put two to my header, and how he has it on the back. Oh, to the subframe. To the subframe, all right. So now we know how we can put ours on to the subframe and to the header. Well, mine's gonna be backwards, so it's gonna be back on the header, and then the front's gonna be. Uh, traction bar. Oh, yeah, we can or do um, no. the intake. Yeah. Two intake bottom bolts, maybe. I don't know because yeah, the straps are pretty long. Yeah. Yeah, you extend them. So, got that figured out. Now we're just waiting for my dad to see if we got a wheel lock key for old Venom here. And uh, we'll be back. Stand in front of the 
Yo, it's hard, and you gotta do a lot of things at the same time. Cause you're on a hill, remember? Yeah, no. Nah, that's what I'm saying. I'm trying to. You want me to take it, it out to the hot, to the driveway, and then
That's pretty big. Yeah. I want to go pulling them again, but they're pretty tight. Put them in there. Oh. Security. All right. Well, we'll be back for you. I think I'll put that in there. Oh, yeah. Watch your pan! <laughs> Oil pan! Nah, this car is way higher than mine though. This car is way higher than mine. Yeah. Yeah, I smacked the pan. Just a little bit, just a little bit. Evian! Damn, my boy cooling. That's crazy now. Yeah, yeah, I know. So I got clean so I can put you in here. Yeah, and then Savi's gonna finish the hood. But man, now that I have time, real quick, that was crazy. That was crazy. I mean, I only drove it from here to literally, like this is my driveway to over there. But man, I don't know, that's crazy. Felt good. I was getting a little frustrated in here just cause it's a turn and the driveway slopes a little bit. So I was getting frustrated because, you know, you have the handbrake, then I also have to put it in gear. And it was just like, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot of stuff I got to get used to. It's a lot of repetition. It's a lot of seat time and stuff I got to do. And I think I go grab the charger from my dad because my cousin's beat the crap Civic won't start again. But anyways, um, yeah, no, I felt really good. And I mean, getting in the trailer, I did pretty good. I mean, I rubbed the crap out of the car, probably a little more than I should have. But, you know, we just had to let it get warm because it kept shutting off. We didn't want to idle, but that was just because it was cold and no alternator life too. But uh, yeah, I mean, uh, that felt really good. Uh, I can't wait to get it back now from SWA and uh, drive again. Even though uh, Wednesday morning, I'm going to be backing it out of the trailer, but that's literally just going to be like two feet. It's not going to be as cool as pulling it around the, pulling it around the street. But uh, yeah, nah. now, we get, now I get to hang out with Venom for a little bit while I organize and clean the garage. It's like it's like watching your nephew for the weekend, which I mean I got my I got this nephew, my other nephew's out there riding his little tricycle thing. And so he's finishing the hood. It's just it's just crazy to see it out of the garage too. That's just wild. So I was cleaning all the fiberglass. You need the extension cord. All right, guys. Um, Kugel's in the trailer. Uh, I'm gonna pull Venom in now. Sweeped out a spot for it. Um, I might just pull it in like this. Just so uh, when I go back it out, I can just back it out right there. Wow, I wasn't even recording myself. I gotta back it out, back it out right there. And then um, start organizing and cleaning this. The good thing about Venom is that uh, Venom, I mean, my car runs and drives too, obviously now, but Venom is, um, I would say, uh, she's got an alternator, let's just say that, so she starts up nice. But, um, and then me and my dad are gonna put the hood on the Integra. So we gotta do that. But I'm gonna pull Venom in now. And uh, I'll be right back. All right, Venom is inside. Uh, tomorrow, I'll probably back her out, back him out. And uh, clean the garage up, do some organizing. You guys are gonna get some Taylor A like garage or organization videos. Probably not as to the level of Taylor Ray, but something like that. But yeah, this car takes up way less room, even though it's parked like this, but screw it. But um now we gotta put the the hood on Okuko. So I did a really good job. Just got it all fiberglass underneath. 
the glue. Said so he's gonna make another pass because it dried up faster than what he thought. Alright, then you gotta put the bumper in here? Yeah.